Am I the asshole? For calling her selfish for being unwilling to help my mum? My mom just lost her housing a week ago and has 30 days to find somewhere else to go. She was on state housing and disability but it was turned off without warning. We are trying to fight it currently but from as far as I can tell, she's not the only person this has happened to this month like hundreds of elderly are going through this. She has lupus so she has no job. She's 59. We have a five-bedroom house three kids who have their own room and then the fourth bedroom is used as our shared office. I suggested letting my mother move in here and letting her stay in our office, which would have to be relocated to maybe the attic. She immediately said fuck no, not happening. No. I remain calm, despite her hostility surrounding the issue bothering me. I tried coming up with every alternative imaginable and she shot down every single idea. I found it a little weird because her and my mom get along really well like I'm pretty sure my mom likes my wife more than she likes me. So I finally snapped and asked her what the fuck her problem was and why she was acting so miserable. She snaps back with last I fucking checked, you're fully aware that I refuse to be around your mother's fucking dog. Her dog is not coming here. Her dog is not allowed here. She won't get rid of her dog, therefore she has no place here. I honestly hadn't even thought about the dog up till this point. My mom has a Rottweiler who's like two years old and he's a big boy. He's gompy. My wife doesn't like the dog at all she used to get chased by Rottweilers as a kid but never been bitten so she won't even give the dog a chance. She admittedly doesn't like any dog outside of like. Retrievers. But I still feel this is rather ignorant. I told her she was being incredibly selfish for being unwilling to help my mother over a dog and she absolutely lost it. She said that her life is not going to be revolved around taking care of my disabled mother and take care of an untrained giant Rottweiler. She said she's also not chancing having this mutt around our kids while untrained and she is absolutely repulsed that I'm not seeing how dangerous it could be we have small kids. She said I'm an absolute prick and under no circumstances was she going to put my mother over the well. Being of our kids and if I can do that, I had better see myself out. I think she's over the fucking top, to be blunt. Am I the asshole? ETA my wife is in therapy. Therapy doesn't take away fears. She said mom could move in if she doesn't have the dog. My mom refuses. It's my wife's house. She inherited it long before we married. She works from home full time and has the kids. I work PT in office and PT at home. You're the asshole your mother refuses medications and refuses any training for the dog. I'm an animal behaviorist and have worked with large dogs for 50 years. Many rotties are sweet but they all need training. And there are many medications for lupus pain control. This is too much. Perhaps the vehemence of your wife's reaction is her recognition of the truth this would damage your family in so many ways. You're the asshole. Her concerns are valid and you know full well that if your mother moves in dog or not, she's never leaving. Info. Do you work from home or am a stay-at-home father? Or is she? If she's home and you're not she's right she would be doing all the work of taking care of your mother and a dog. And she's well within her rights to not want to do that when you already have three children. If you're home and she's not there is less issue, but she still just flat out may not be willing to live with your mother. That's a possibility too. You're the asshole she absolutely should not have to miserable in her own home. If your mom is desperate for a place to live, she has no right to make demands of the people willing to help her out. If she won't, even temporarily, rehouse the dog. She needs to look at other options. You're the asshole because she clearly thought it through more than you have. You're the asshole for all your posts and your comments. What I don't get though, if your mom is always in pain how the hell is she caring for a two-year-old Rotty? Your mother is willfully neglecting herself. She most certainly neglecting that dog. And you want to put that on your wife. Go be a roommate with your mother and her dog and leave your poor wife alone. You're the asshole in this situation you're thinking of every way to accommodate your mom and not thinking about the implications of the rest of your family. 
Calling her selfish was out of line and her response was reasonable given the circumstances. You're the asshole. You intentionally left out the part where your wife agreed to let your mom stay without her untrained dog. You and your mother are the are here and you're trying to guilt your wife when she's right. You're the asshole. Whilst your wife hasn't exactly been the most eloquent in explaining her reasons, she has explained them. It's her house too and she had a legitimate fear of Rottweilers. I found it a little weird because her and my mom get along really well. I like my mill but I sure as hell wouldn't want her living with me. You're the asshole your wife was traumatized by a Rottweiler, and you are completely dismissive of that. I love Rottweilers and would never dream of forcing one to be around someone who is afraid of them, much less as force them to live with one, especially if it is not properly trained plus, your wife knows that if Mill moves in, she will end up as her primary caretaker in addition to caring for three children. You're the asshole. Just flip this conversation around and imagine she had told you that you were overreacting to having her mother move into your house with a dog that would likely poop and pee everywhere leave dog hair on everything, tear up the furniture and kid toys, and potentially bite family members. And due to traditional family roles guess who will clean all of those poops, peas, hair and other stuff up? The wife. This ask of your wife is bigger than you realize. People who are in constant pain or illness but refuse medication that would help them and instead make it everyone else's problem are the most frustrating humans on earth. Can't imagine why your wife isn't jumping up and down to lose her office, deal with your mom all day on top of the kids, and live with her worst fear as it makes a mess of her home, all because your mom doesn't like pharmaceuticals. You are asking way too much here. You're the asshole. She doesn't want your mother living in her house. The end. You're the asshole your wife offered a compromise. No dog, your mom can move in. But an untrained dog around small children where your wife is going to have to deal with it most of the time, I understand why she feels the way she does. Your mom is choosing to be homeless for a dog that she can't really be able to take care of that well considering her lupus and pain. Ha 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 so it's your wife's house, your wife works from home and is the primary parent? What exactly do you bring to the table that lets you think you can make these demands? You're the asshole op. The fucking audacity. You're the asshole. You're an asshole, anyone moving into the house you and your wife share is a two yes situation. I completely agree with your wife and would not want your mom moving in either if she is going to be the one having to take care of your mom and a dog she hates. Do you plan to help out if your mom hypothetically moves in or are you putting it all on your wife? Your mom is an asshole for not willing to compromise and find another home for her dog, she's the definition of a choosing beggar. You're the asshole. I honestly hadn't even thought about the dog up till this point. At least one of you did. However, when she told you it still didn't make any difference to you. She said that her life is not going to be revolved around taking care of my disabled mother and take care of an untrained giant Rottweiler. Somehow you still don't get it. Edit following your edit she works from home full time and has the kids how much harder do you want her life to be?